Hi, this is Andy Long from andrewlong.com, uh, Twitter at Andrew underscore Long. And in this video, we're going to take a look at my Windows Phone 7 app, Argov Recalls. Uh, we're going to look at version 2.1 here, uh, which is not yet in the marketplace. It's currently um, in the certification process. Version 2.0 is available, though, and you can download that today if you have a, a device running Windows Phone Mango. To start off with, um, you get sort of a, a browse interface here to, to, to browse recalls by category. So you can select from uh, consumer products, food and drugs, or transportation. Uh, drilling down into these, you'll see subcategories. Uh, so for consumer products, you can see recent recalls, children's, household, outdoor products, etc. We'll just go on down to recent recalls, and we'll pull up this first one. So once you're in to a recall, you can see the title and a brief description. Uh, down at the bottom, you have a button which gives you the option to share this information. Uh, with version 2.0, we added the ability to share this out via text message in addition to email. So that is available now. Going back to the home screen, um, we had a search a long time ago in our first version. It didn't work very well, so uh, we've we've redone that functionality and re-enabled it in version 2.0 and above. So clicking the search icon brings you to the search page, where you can type in your keywords, enter a date range. By default, we just put you out back an entire year from today's date, and then select the organization to search for recalls from. Uh, as you can see, you have three choices, either the uh, Consumer Product Safety Commission, the Centers for Disease Control, which will be um, your, most of your, your uh, pharmaceutical recalls will be here under CDC, or the NHTSA, which uh, would be vehicle and transportation related recalls. So we uh, typed in Toyota, not that we're trying to pick on them or anything, uh, but we're going to select NHTSA and then click search. So we come up to our search results screen. You see there's a few results here. Uh, we're currently looking at 1 through 10 of, of 16 total resu results. Uh, to bring back the, uh, the next page of results, you can just click this button down at the bottom. And now we've got all of them loaded here on this page. So we'll just click into any one here and take a look at it. You get a uh, full description of the uh, the recall. You see the date, a summary, what could happen, uh, what you need to do to get it fixed, and then there's also a link to view this on the web which will take you to the, um, in this case, the NHTSA's website and you can view their full page about this recall. Again we have uh, the share icon which will let you share this information out via email or text. And that's that. Now the new feature that we've added in version 2.1, and again this is not yet available in the marketplace, it should be out there within the next couple of days I would think, is the ability to uh, actually scan a barcode from a product and search for recalls that way. So if you click on this camera icon, and this is not going to show very well through the emulator, but what you have is a, uh, a viewfinder here. Uh, and there's two buttons actually on here that get enabled after you take your picture. And you just use the built-in camera, snap the picture of your barcode, and then the, uh, the app will read the, read the UPC code off that barcode and do a search that way. So that's a new feature that we're really excited about. And again, that's going to be available with version 2.1 which is still in testing but should get through uh, fairly shortly so if you're running a uh, device with Windows Phone Mango please download Argov Recalls and check it out thanks a lot